What is up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to another episode review. And today we are reviewing another episode of Goosebumps for VTR's Creepy Frights. This being the episode, uh, being Night of the Living Dummy 2. Now, the Night of the Living Dummy, um, never got made into a episode of the first book. Never got made, so they started with two. There's a few reasons on, uh, that I've seen on the internet, but seems like the most, the uh, most, uh, the actual reason it seems to be they just thought it was too boring and it wasn't as interesting to make into an episode. So, uh, so let's talk about Night of the Living Dummy 2. Going into this one, this is like, Night of the Living Dummy is one of the more iconic, um, Goosebumps characters and everything like that. He's ba Slappy is basically the mascot of Goosebumps and... I I honestly think it, it, he creeped me out a lot as a kid, uh, and my main version of Slappy was the way he looked in the show. And I always thought he looked creepy. It was really cool how they handled him and everything, and I really enjoyed the way he looked, the way he interacted, and everything. And also, I kind of like some of the in this episode specifically how they kind of hide some of the limitations and everything. Um, like they don't like really show him walking or anything like that. It's very much very simple, but like Slappy's voice is automatically iconic to me. It has that creepy yet annoying sound to it, which I which is I don't know if you guys can hear a talk show in the other room, um, but um, yeah, uh, it's so interesting. Now the episode in general has some spotty acting. It's not terrible. But it's not the best either. But it is. It doesn't take me out of it. Like some, like some of the acting in the last episode I reviewed, which was pretty bad. Um, but the uh, all of it here was super fun uh, for the most part, and I enjoyed. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, and I think it was fun. Uh, I feel like it has a. It, the episode is paced pretty decently for just being one episode. You would think this one would be a two-parter, but no. It's only one episode. And for what it is and what the episode tries to accomplish with a creepy dummy and everything, it's really interesting seeing, like, knowing horror, like, horror movies and stuff is, like, the... I could see, like, like, some inspiration that's clearly in this film, in this, um not film, in this uh, episode and everything. And it's it's done pretty well, I ain't gonna lie. I think it looks great. I think it's well executed and everything. Um, and it's just a lot of fun of an episode. Um, most of the characters uh, can get a little like, uh, it's the, the kid says a thing happens story and no one believes her. It's, it's one of those stories. And those stories can get a little bit overbearing but like I think here it's done fine I think it's done fine here I think it's um executed fairly decently uh but like I said Slappy when he's like being creepy and everything stills the show and that that interesting cliffhanger that it uh ends off on is super interesting um but overall I think it's a good I'll give the episode a solid three and a half out of five. I think it is a good episode for what it is. Uh, it's definitely better than the last episode of Goosebumps I reviewed. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.